The Jacksonville Suns and Tennessee Smokies gearing up for the second game of the series here on this Friday night at Bragan Field. Welcome to Suns Today. Pitch on the way by Lawless, swung on, a line drive, ripped into right field for a base hit. This will roll to the warning track up against the wall. Lopez scores, Jacksonville walks off a winner. First pitch to Matt Yangle is swung on. High drive, deep to left field, to the palm trees, it's gone. Next pitch to Goodell, swung on, driven high and deep to center field, chasing it down as Wilson, still chasing. He dives and Kenny Wilson with an amazing catch going deep into center field. That will end the inning. Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover alongside Mackenzie Thurkill. Glad to welcome you back to Bragan Field on this Friday night. The Jacksonville Suns continue playing winning baseball, and really, this has been a great start to the month of June for the Suns. It really has. They've won 8-3 and three in their last 11 games, and they picked up the win last night. 5-2 to two over the Tennessee Smokies. Let's take a look back at all the highlights. Swing and a ground ball to the right side. That's off the glove of the second baseman, Bruno. Rolls it to shallow right. Rounding third is Zach Cox. He'll score. That's an RBI single for Danny Black, and the Suns hop in front first. One to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth. The pitch is swung on, a soft fly ball, dropping into right field for a hit. Rosa will get the wave around third. Scores without a play. Jacksonville leads Tennessee, three to two in the bottom of the eighth. Along the third base line, Darville picks it up. He can't pick it up. It goes off of his shoe. A run scores as Danny Black comes in. The Suns now lead 5-2 to two in the bottom of the eighth inning. Matt Tomshaw's first six innings were scoreless, and Juancito Martinez got his third save in the last four games. And the Suns' three-run eighth inning was all the difference. Now there are nine games left in the first half of the season, and the division races are really starting to heat up. And for a full Southern League report, here's Kyle Crooks. Thanks, guys. Well, it's still two team races in both divisions in the north and the south. A lot of action last night, and we have to keep you up to date on the standings as we get to the scores from a night ago. In an important series in the South Division, it was Mississippi winning the opener 5-1 to one over Biloxi. Jake Brigham, a strong eight innings in his sixth win of the year. It was Birmingham 5 and Chattanooga 1. The Lookouts had a one to nothing lead for most of the ball game. Then in the bottom of the seventh, the Barons had a five-run rally to win it. It was Jackson 6, Mobile 4, a final in 11 innings. Then Montgomery 6 and Pensacola 1 to round out the slate from last night. As we take a look at the Southern League standings, starting out in the North Division, Chattanooga still in first place with the loss last night, but Tennessee did not gain any ground with the loss to Jacksonville. They're still three and a half back. Then in the South Division, also a two-team race, but Biloxi and Mississippi still four games played in their series between those two tonight will be Jorge Lopez for the Shuckers, opposed by Greg Ross of the Braves, Mississippi three and a half games back. So important series all throughout the 10 team league. We'll keep you up to date on tomorrow's edition of Suns Today. But here at the baseball grounds, we have a great pitching matchup tonight. And for more, here's Roger Hoover and Mackenzie Thurkill. Thanks, Kyle. Let's take a look at the pitching matchup for this ball game. First of all, Tennessee will have pitcher that's done as well as anyone else in the Southern League this season. Right-hander Frank Batista has been one of the most dominant starters and has the Southern League's lowest ERA coming into tonight's matchup. Also, Jacksonville will have the South Division All-Star Game starting pitcher Jake Esch. He'll be on the mound tonight for the Jacksonville Suns. He's put together a very solid start to the 2015 season. So it should be a fun night here at Bragan Field. It's pet friendly weekend, not only tonight, but also during the afternoon games on Saturday and Sunday. You can bring your dogs to the ballpark for only $2.50. Mackenzie, you brought your dog. Who is this? I did. This is Harvey. <laughs> well, it's good to see Harvey again as the Jacksonville Suns take on the Tennessee Smokies. A big night as well tonight, as we'll also have fireworks after the game. Elvis and Selvis is back. It's also strikeout ALS night as well. So we should have a lot of fun, and we want to see fans really enjoy their experience with us on social media. Yeah, if you have Instagram or Twitter, tag us in your photos at Suns Baseball or use the hashtag never been hotter, especially if you're bringing your fur child along. <laughs> should be a lot of fun. If you're at the ballpark, sit back and relax with your dog and also get ready for some baseball between the Suns and the Smokies. And also, if you're watching this online on the Suns YouTube channel, just head on over to jacksons.com. There you can listen to the game through the Suns Baseball Network or watch on MILB.TV. With Kyle Crooks, Mackenzie Thurkill, and Harvey, I'm Roger Hoover. Thanks for watching Suns Today.